them in terms of understanding the random variable, uh, the lifetime random variable uh, tx and uh, we have even uh, found out uh, the functions uh, relating to the distribution uh, function fx of t and even the survival function sx of t and uh, we also looked at uh, computing the complete lifetime complete expected future lifetime even a curtailed expected future lifetime and uh, to compute the survival uh, function tpx we have even used some kind of uh, integral uh, related uh, formulas and uh, probably uh, looked at uh, the various parametric kind of models various parametric uh, where we assume that uh, the hazard function follows uh, let's say an exponential kind of a model or hazard function follows uh, a viable model or we have even uh, looked at the hazard function uh, following uh, either uh, Gompert's law or Makam law or probably uh, some Gompard's Makam family of distribution. So all these things clearly say that the survival function or even the hazard rate which we wanted to uh, estimate we made an assumption regarding the distribu underlying distribution and based on that we were uh, going ahead in terms of uh, doing the estimations but here we will initially kick get kick started with the usage of a non-parametric distribution so whenever I am using the word non-parametric, the intention is very simple. The hazard function, I don't make any kind of an assumption. I have no assumption regarding the underlying distribution for the hazard function or even the survival rate. Right, so the lifetime distribution, the lifetime future distribution we are estimating without, without knowing the underlying distribution of the hazard function. Right, means I am not bothered about exponential or viable or whatever it is, which is as clear as saying my future lifetime I am not sure what is the kind of distribution that it is following or that it will follow. So it is also called as a distribution free kind of a mechanism. That is what we are uh, looking at uh, when we are using non-parametric kind of models. Right? Now getting a little bit uh, deeper in that uh, process of uh, non-parametric uh, estimation we introduce you to a mechanism called censoring. Censoring is a process, uh, especially uh, with the context of uh, mortality or uh, anything in the actuarial uh, calculation world. Whenever I am using the word uh, censoring, it is that any life I started to observe or investigate any life I am investigating for, for uh, doing some kind of uh, estimations on mortality rate, right? I cannot, if I cannot measure the lifetime, if I cannot measure the lifetime accurately, For whatever uh, is the process I am following, if I am not able to measure the total exact lifetime accurately, then as a part of my uh, as a part of my investigation process, some censoring mechanism might have got performed. So, which means uh, I am losing out on some data. I have a loss of data. And because of that, I am not able to compute the exact lifetime of a 
person or entity which we are investigating. We will only know some kind of an approximate value or uh, or some kind of an interval kind of a value, but we don't know the exact value. Probably it's as good as saying if I my intention is to find out uh, exact uh, uh, exact age of a person, right? I need to know both the date of birth as well as the date of death. Uh, uh, but if I have only let's say year of birth instead of date of birth then what I am getting as the age of the person is only an approximation similarly uh, if I am uh, if, if this if I am not sure of the date of death of a person who has already died so the age is going to be only an approximate age but nothing like an exact age and that is where we keep saying that our data got uh, censored and uh, arriving at uh, some kind of distributions relating to the exact lifetime becomes quite difficult with this mechanism. So th it is in this context we try to bring in the different kinds of definitions that are associated with sensory. So we talk about uh, the first dimension being the right sensoring versus the left one dimension in which I look at the sensoring the right versus the left means right is always I don't know 